I am joined now by David Barr, editor of MRS Advances. Thanks for joining us. So how would you describe what MRS Advances is all about? Thank you. Um, MRS Advances is a way to have a rapid snapshot of a research result. It's a journal that focuses on rapid publications of scientifically accurate and technically sound information. It's a way that information that's being done at a meeting can be put out into an online journal. And we ask the authors to make sure that their work is at the cutting edge of what they're doing. So what differentiates MRS Advances from other journals in the MRS portfolio? So there are two big differentiations. The first is scope. So uh, MRS Advances has a narrower scope and a narrower audience. We publish special issues that tie into meeting themes and content. And so therefore, we expect that the MRS Advances paper is written for specialists within that community, be it biomedical materials or thin film microelectronics. The second aspect is we expect it to be something that is at the nascent stages of work, so something that is a snapshot of where they're at right now. So it may not be a complete story, but the story that's there has to be accurate and technically sound. Um, so something that's much longer, multi-year study, that might be more appropriate for journal of materials research. Something that's a broad-based, cutting-edge interest that is impactful might be in MRS communications. And MRS Advances speaks to the audience that is within the field that that niche is active in. So we try to do things that are very rapid and let somebody plant a flag for their first work. Well, I know this is the second year for mm -hmm. MRS Advances. How would you describe your position as editor? How has that been? So it's been a fun experience. Um, we get to work with principal ed so we have an editorial board that's made up of myself and associate editors that cover all the areas of the MRS meeting. So nanomaterials, electronic photonic materials, etc. Um, I also get to work with principal editors, and those are people who are targeted with handling a special issue, um, and that's a very helpful way to interact with the broad range of the community. Um, so I get the opportunity to work with dozens and dozens of principal editors each year and help uh, get content that comes out to that meeting. So looking forward, looking ahead, what would you say are your goals for MRS Advances? So we want to continue to increase uh, the number of submissions we've had. In the first uh, volume, we had 600 papers, I think 602 actually. Um, so we want to continue to increase submissions. We also want to continue to make sure that it's rapid. Um, we've trimmed the publication from submission to online publication with a DOI number down to around 55, 58 days, and we want to continue to make that as quick as possible. What is the journal's interdisciplinary approach and how is that reflected? So since MRS uh, membership is interdisciplinary, uh, we take a bottom-up approach to selecting the topics and the special issues. So we're as interdisciplinary as the membership wants to be in terms of picking its topics. So when there's a meeting topic that comes out on uh, reliability of bio uh, implantable reabsorbable materials, that will be something that brings together people from the medical community as well as the metals community, as well as theory and uh, modeling community. And that community that gathers at the meeting, we expect that to be reflected in the uh, content in MRS Advances. What kinds of work are you looking for? So we look for things that reflect what's at the cutting edge of where people are at in terms of meeting content. So for instance, we've had a specific emphasis in materials for batteries and materials for power storage. Uh, we've had some very good luck with uh, interest in people doing materials for advanced manufacturing. Um, some of the 3D printing, both from tissue scaffolds as well as advanced metals, have been areas where somebody can report their results, their first results, in a rapid manner. So, so if an author is interested, how do they go about getting published? So um, all the meeting attendees that are submitting papers that have submitted an abstract are open for papers right now. Um, growing in the future years, we're going to have uh, topics where we're going to have submissions that are outside of just the meeting attendees, and so that'll be starting next year. Uh, for right now, any author that has submitted to the meeting should have already gotten a note saying, please submit to MRS Advances, and we look forward to having their content uh, as a mechanism that this is the right place for them to publish, 
uh, we want to help make that happen. Wonderful. So where can people find MRS Advances? So since it's part of the MRS Family of Journal, it's available on the MRS website. As a member benefit, MRS Advances is a free service for all MRS members. Uh, also through Cambridge Core, we publish as a uh, we publish individual papers as they're accepted. So as soon as the DOI numbers assign, the paper comes out as rapidly as possible with the final issue being put together once all the papers are put together. But you, the author, don't have to worry about your paper waiting for somebody else in that session. Uh, we publish as soon as they're accepted paper by paper. All right, wonderful. David uh, Barr, thank you so much. Well, thank you very much.